Hey everyone, and welcome back to Drone U HQ. Thank you for all the praise, comments, and questions on our what is mapping video. I really appreciate all the feedback, seriously. But we've got one question that's coming in from members and we have one, lots of questions that are similar coming from YouTube. So I figured I'd just answer it all in one video that we can post on YouTube and share with our membership as well. Can you map with a MacBook? As many questions that deal with scientific stuff, the answer is it depends, okay? There's, it's important to understand there's three types of software, mapping software. You have desktop, which we call processing software. This is stuff like Pix4D Mapper, Pix4D Matic, Pix4D React, Bentley's Context Capture, Metashape. I could go down the list. All of those softwares require a physical computer and it's typically a Windows-based machine. None of those programs will work on Mac. It's really important to know. There's a second type of software we're gonna call your acquisition software. So that's whatever software that you use to control your drone. And the third type of software, some call it cloud. I call it all-in-one software because things like Drone Deploy or Esri's Site Scan, those actual applications are gonna control your drone and also process your data. Those applications you can access through a MacBook because it's in the cloud. The cloud is actually doing the processing for you. You're just accessing the data through your computer. Now, some people have asked us who have been going through our, our mapping class, which is almost 40 hours long, and it includes about 10 exercises, and it includes documents, workflow guides, pre-flight checklists, everything that you would ever need to do any 2D or 3D mapping. They're asking, Paul, all I have is a MacBook computer, which makes sense because most people in media use a MacBook computer. The thing is, is they're like, can I actually go through the mapping class and do stuff? Well, on the new MacBooks, the M1, the M2, you can't run Bootcamp Parallels and run Pix4D through it or Bentley through it or Metashape through it. But I think it actually is really important to understand how processing works. You may not be able to do the exercises with us. You could throw them into a cloud software, but it's important to know how these uh, maps and models are processed so that when you process things in the cloud and it doesn't work, you know how to fix it. And I will say, a lot of the cloud processors are totally guilty of manipulating your data and you not knowing it. Drone Deploy, I'm looking at you. Um, and I say that because for a while, we were working with Drone Deploy, really excited, and I, and I still think Drone Deploy is the best for volumetric measurements, roof reports, uh, and some other things. But if you're trying to create complex 3D models, Drone Deploy is not right for you, and the reason is you have no way of making manual tie points to merge projects together to create really complex 3D models. And number two, you have no way of aligning data sets in the same project to have a really nice detailed 3D model. I have found in multiple 3D models that I've thrown at Drone Deploy, they just chop a layer off because the two things didn't actually align or merge together to create one really nice, beautiful, lifelike 3D model. And if you're trying to create lifelike 3D models, Online, the best software, in my opinion, is Optelos. The secondary one, and this is not for online, this is for desktop-based processing, would be Reality Capture, Capture Reality, Capturing Reality, whichever name you want to use. But that's going to require a desktop computer or a laptop Windows computer as well. So with that said, can you do desktop-based processing on a MacBook? No, you cannot. Can you access maps and models made with Drone Deploy, Esri Site Scan, Optelos, Propeller Arrow Points, or Propeller's mapping system? You can access all those online through any type of computer, which would be a MacBook. Just understand, if you're doing complex jobs, like the stuff that pays the real money, you are going to need a Windows laptop. I understand not wanting to buy a Windows laptop. I think Windows sucks compared to Mac. And in fact, I switched over to Mac in college and then had to switch back over to Windows to do mapping stuff. And it does pay to know both systems because it is gonna be valuable in your career. I hope this answers the question. I do think it's beneficial to still take the class. Oh, by the way, did you know that DroneU has a drone deploy class? Do you know that we have an Optelos class? Do you know that we actually teach on these cloud softwares as well? A lot of people get lost in the fact that our main mapping class is on Pix4D. Why? because it's the best statistically, but it's not the best for lifelike 3D models. It's not the best for cell tower inspections. It's not the best for a lot of other things. The thing is, is most of the industry and the processes and workflows that we use to create data products 
they've been bifurcated, meaning whatever deliverable that you are tasked to create, you might need a specific software to do that in the best possible way to remain competitive. Literally, this is something that I think a lot of people struggle with because you know they wanna try this, they wanna try that, and that makes sense. But if you wanna make the good money, you have to go from trying all these different things to figure out what you enjoy doing and be the best at it. And that sometimes requires going with specific software that solves specific problems. If you ever hear me on the podcast say, well, what's your deliverable? Every single client that I ever worked with, I always start with, what's the deliverable? If they don't know the deliverable, chances are you may not wanna work with the client. Could also be an opportunity to educate them and earn their respect, trust, and a client as well. It really depends upon which way that you wanna go. There's a thousand ways to create a successful business. It's just about your determination, your professionalism, and how you work with clients. I've seen a lot of drone pilots simply fail because they didn't have the basic business stuff down. By the way, if you wanna learn that, we also have a business course in the largest library of drone classes taught from experience. We are not like the competitors. They can't do what we do. We teach from experience. Make sure to also check out our newest video where we talk about how we made $46,000 in just one day doing drone video, which our competitors can't do either. If you wanna learn from people who actually do this for a living, check out thedroneu.com where you can gain access to all these classes for just one low monthly price. We do that because we wanna prop you up and we wanna see you take flight above and beyond the competition. Welcome to Drone You.